All right, welcome back to the Get That Skate podcast. My name's Jack Mayne, and just before I introduce the special guest with me today, I'd like to send out my love to my brother, Dominic Taylor. Um, his father, Michael, and his sister, Kirsten. Unfortunately, they lost uh, their mum this morning, so I'm just... Condolences, and she was a lovely lady, a great mother, a great person, and just wanted to send all my love to Dom and the family. So, we love you, Dom. Yeah, love you, brah. Um, but furthermore, we're gonna um, have a lot of fun tonight. It's been a while yeah. since we've been on the podcast. First of all, I've got <laughs> Mr. Mitch Thompson next to me, I've got Anna. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to talk into the mic. <laughs> and I got Jaden to the very end of the table in the blue. Get that shirt. Actually, I think kicking it off, Jaden. I don't know if the camera will see it, but I was skating with Jaden today. And something, uh, pff, something that's been blowing my mind lately, four people in the last month have got themselves a get that tattoo. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so I had, wide. dude, I don't know what's going on. I had... Zane hit me up. Zane got the wheel, tatted on him. I'll try to chuck a photo up here right now. I had Martina. Oh, yeah, from I'm, I'm going to try say her last name. <laughs> Tejeda. T-E-J-E-D-A. Martina got get that tatted up on her arm. So shout out to Martina. Shout out to Zane. Then I had Haz chime in the other day. Hits me with the you're up. <laughs> he got the Get That Logo tatted on him. This one I've got on my chest and Anna has on her chest. The new logo that we're, I'm running with. Harry? Harry. Yeah. yeah I'll yeah. show you a picky. I didn't. Like, I'm going to show you now because we're talking about <laughs> it. Um, he, Harry hit me with the, the message going, your turn, brah, and sent me the photo. <laughs> That's a good cool one. Cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll show the viewers <laughs> watching at home. And then... <laughs> So, long story short, we go skating in Newcastle today. Jaden comes up. You boys are from coming from all the way at Bathurst. We meet up with Aiden. Shout out, Aiden. And then uh, we're talking about the tattoo thing while we're changing our wheels and whatnot. And then we nothing Do said. a couple runs. A yeah. couple yeah. runs. Like, that was a crazy hill, that one. That was sick. Um, yeah. Thanks, Aiden. Yeah. I say crazy. Mitch says sick. See the difference. <laughs> <laughs> um and then all of a sudden you come down the hill and you, what did you say to me? You said you like. I was like, um, yo, Jack, I got to show you something. <laughs> I was like, oi, oi, what? Oi, I got to show you something. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what? Hold it, it to, hold it up to the camera. Do your best job that you can. I'll oh, show a picky. We you got a that? fresh tag. Describe it, Jada. What is it? It's like a grim riding a skateboard, drinking a slushy. <laughs> With GTS on it. Yeah. <laughs> GTS. yeah. It's like he forgot that he had it. How long ago did you get it done? I think, was it January 19th? I think we discussed. Mm. Yeah. So you're number five or six. <laughs> I, I've got a list in my phone of all the people that have a get that tattoo because I'm going to sort them out with something really special and shiny and expensive. And shit like. <laughs> um, but I had to move your name back on the list because yeah. you were further than the three yeah. people that got in the last week. And this is crazy for me to say, dude. Like four people in the last month. Wicked. But shout out to you, bro. Yeah, it's bro. So sick. My dog. For life. Um, Like I said, we I haven't done a podcast in a while since before Argentina. What have you been doing? Working because yeah. I'm an adult. Well, ha, like th- I'm like three quarters trying. adult. You're trying to be an adult. <laughs> um, I've been trying to ride my skateboard as much as I can. One thing I haven't been doing is using my cameras. What have you been doing? Yeah, working, adulting. Yep. Planning the next skate trip. Uh, yeah, surviving. I Where guess. are you thinking? Uh, looks like Philo. Back to VLT. That was like my first skate trip in 2016. So back to oh Roots. God, was my first one too. Yeah, really? Yeah. First <laughs> international skate trip? Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Philippines it's awesome. and are you, China. Are you thinking about it? I'm thinking about it. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. I'm not really sure yet because right now I'm... Really broke. <laughs> <laughs> we all live in that life. The skater yeah, life, the, yeah. The <laughs> skating and adulting doesn't really go well together, so it's, it's tricky. A bit tricky. Mm, never. And <laughs> we'll probably touch on it at some point, but we just got back from Hawaii and you were just saying you got a new job. What are you doing? Oh uh, yeah, I'm working in a climbing gym now. Yeah. Coaching the kids. <laughs> so you coach so for those who don't know, Anna also does skateboard coaching for children. Now you're doing the climbing coaching. What's yeah. next? I've also been <laughs> teaching them skiing back in Austria. Yep. 
And yeah, I like love to pass on fun stuff to kids. <laughs> You'd be a hero to all <laughs> like, those kids. I don't know, like because for me skating gave me so much mm. when I discovered it that age that I really like to I don't yeah. know, pass something on to other kids that kind of feel lost and need yeah. to find their thing. <laughs> so you guys know I work with kids too, but they have to do stuff they don't want to do at school. Like maths and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, you have a way harder job. So I, feel I have like the I job to I <laughs> feel like the I'm the man, stuff. but then there's Anna who's like, I just do fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just do what the kids want to do. And they love her. Yeah. Yeah, they all um, love me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what else have you been up to, Anna, since getting home? Um, Getting home from... Hawaii? I, I'm like... Always a bit confused where, where home where is. Yeah. Home <laughs> Where's the hammock hanging? Like <laughs> <laughs> originally, it's supposed to be Austria, but I haven't been there in a while. Uh, yeah, I feel like now Australia's home. Yep. Yeah. You've been riding bikes a lot. Yeah. That's like your go to. I, I well. love riding bikes. Love and that. I also just don't have money to buy a car, so that's why I have to I ride bikes. Right. Transport. <laughs> Zero emissions. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Jaden? What's been happening? Uh, bro, I've been adulting hard as well. Yeah. Working for a living for sure. Um, Someone's going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Currently building a house, so yeah. it's making um, oh, wow. skating very That's hard. Like real adulting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm doing some of the work myself on it, so um, yeah, not really giving myself much time on the weekends, what's, that's for sure. What's the ETA looking like on, on the house that you're building? Oh, sorry, the skate house that you're building. Yeah, for everyone. <laughs> for <Yeah>. boys. <laughs> I can't wait yeah. to move in, yeah. eh? <laughs> um, I'm hoping for June. Yep. Um, so not far. Yeah. So it's not too far That's away. That's exciting, yeah. dude. You can like turn the music up. Yeah, do what I want, eh? Posters on the <laughs> yeah. wall and stuff. Yeah. Nah, so when you get in there and get yourself sorted, and I know you've got um, your partner as well, but um, you came for the housewarming party? Yeah. Like, huh. he, he doesn't know he's having one yet. Yeah. I'm keen. Wait, when are we due? For the housewarming? Yeah. Oh, it'll have to be after June, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. should do it. We should do it around like noons. Around noons, yeah, around noons, I reckon. Yeah. 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 yeah, camping at Jaden's yeah. house, yeah. house yeah. warming. There's yeah. plenty of room in the backyard right before everyone. race day. So not much skating, you're saying? No. Well, this is. I don't know. Remember, like we skated today. Mm -hmm. Um. No, we skated out west. We had field snowies. Boys. Yeah, snowies, snowies as well. Yep. Yeah. Some okay. of the boys came out west. Yeah. yeah. Skated some chunder and some good stuff. You uh, who was that? Shannon and Shannon, Mateo, uh, Leo. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and mustard. That's good fun. And mustard. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Big bear man. No, that's good. a good crew to have. Yeah, and yeah. they they love it out there. Well, Mateo definitely loves it. Yeah, he rolls his swag out wherever. Loves it. Euro swag. Yeah, dude. <laughs> there's like I've said it three times now, but it's been so long since I've done a podcast. It feels good to be back, but there's so many things to talk about. <laughs> I just want to quickly thank you guys for jumping on because I can't get anyone <laughs> on. It's crazy that the really? people the people that are on the show the most is Harry, who when he was in Australia was like three hours of public transport away. Anna's come from goddamn Austria or wherever <laughs> she wherever she's from. I mean, in the now world. I'm the same distance like Harry used to yeah. be. Yeah. And you boys are from Bathurst. Do you yeah. not have locals up here? No comment. No comment, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't see him either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, we're sitting here tonight. M usually for the people that listen or watch frequently, we try and plan these as best as we can. We try and have topics or we're doing a top 10 and we thought, you know what, let's just jump on and start talking tonight. And i got to say, we're, filming, we're recording this at <laughs> 12 minutes until 11 o'clock at night. We're planning to do two tonight and we're still... Cross your fingers, trying to go for a skate later. So yeah. we're getting to work tonight. <laughs> we're winging it. But there's, um, I guess, the elephant in the room. It's sitting right in front of me. Mitch, tell us about what's happening. Here. Yeah, it's a new, uh, new deck. It's an interesting change, isn't it? New deck or new yeah. chapter? Well, definitely a new chapter. It's, uh, yeah. So just briefly touch on it for me. Kind of uh, did my thing with rain for eight years, and it kind of came. To an end and you know we left good terms and great company can't say yeah. anything better about them but it was kind of time to move on and yeah. start a different chapter and head a different direction and i've stumbled upon pantheon and they love it and i love them and they've been yep. so supportive so good so yeah they've uh whipped up this 
Great beast, which is awesome. It's a bit more like a simple concave. Yep. Uh, put your feet wherever you want and everything. It's super nice. Construction's A1, as you can tell. Super cool. Tell us specs if you can. I know not everyone can recall the specs of their boards, but it's a it's a beautiful yep. looking piece of you know artwork of a skateboard in front of me. But just touch on the specs for those watching at home because it's not it's still in the prototype stages. Am I right? Yeah, there's still yep. a bit of tinkering. This is pretty well close to it, but yep. like a little bit of tinkering. Uh, so it's 32 inches long. It's 8.7 inches wide. Um, it's a 20.6 inch wheelbase up to, I think just around a 23, somewhere like that. Don't quote me. I'm running on the shortest. Right. Usually I run around a 22. Yep. Put it on the shortest to begin with here and I froth it. I don't know what it is. The standing platform kind of allows that. It's got a bit of a uh, mild W in the back and just nice concave all around. So super, um, aggressive looking board, which is cool. And yeah, it's gonna be an awesome board. It's yeah. like it's it's just ticking all the boxes. And Jaden, we were lucky enough to mm, st- have a crack on it definitely. today and stand on it. And Midi's got a second prototype that yeah. we're fighting over. <laughs> to who gets to it? it up, eh? um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thoughts? Your thoughts on it? Oh, I'm keen to give it a go for sure. Yeah, like I just stood on it with uh, no trucks or nothing on it. Yeah, and like it feels just simple and just so comfortable already. Just. I'm just, yeah, I'm very keen to give it a go going down the hill for sure. Now, it's a sick board, dude. I can't wait for it to come out. And what I'm most excited for, especially with Pantheon, is the the graphics that they do. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like they have the same artist that's doing the majority of the graphics for their boards. Yeah, it kind of flows through, yeah. Yeah, so like we just saw Chase's board that, that recently released and he's got this beautiful graphic and he's... He had input on the graphic, yeah, which is um, which is just, just so nice. And you can, I sat down and had a conversation with Chase when I was in Hawaii to talk about his graphic and what he wanted in it and how it turned out, which was just beautiful. So I'm not going to ask you to touch on what you might be thinking about this board or, or or what you know because we don't know what's going to happen with this board. But I'm excited to see the graphic on it. Yeah, it's going to be something special and something that definitely sums me up. Like you know, something that is very close mm. to me. So it'd be cool. so it's shaping up to be. It's it's like hard to explain. It's like a pretty unstoppable skateboard. I yeah. mean, team of riders. You got Chase there, who's been so loyal to Pantheon for such a long time. You've got yourself, and I don't even need to open that can of like loyalty <laughs> to brands. But are, are you familiar with many of the other riders on the Pantheon team? Yeah, like Andy. He's uh, he should be back in the, there somewhere over there when they get into. Shout it. out to Andy. Big shout out to Andy. He's been fighting yeah. this ankle. Yep. You know, like. You get injured skating and he's uh, kind of bouncing back from it. I've been speaking to him. It sounds like he's getting better. So I kind of am anxious because he's a quick racer on the track. He's so man, yeah. hopefully the teammates might give me a bit of space now. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, he's another one. Uh, Marcella, she's awesome. Shout out Marcella. Oh, she hooked us up when we were in NC. Eh? Yeah, like, man. Yeah. She, uh, we were lucky enough to meet her in NC and uh, be shown around her local hills. And Anna, we actually just spent some time with Marcella in Hawaii. Yeah, so I just met her first. She's yeah. awesome, mate. Eh? So she's yeah. ripping. Uh, I'm going to obviously shout out my boy Jaden. Yeah. Sure. GTS Major. He's uh, on a Pantheon board. But there's there's a solid group of people on the Pantheon board. There's some boards. rippers. Yeah. Like if you go th- like through their like list of skaters, they got Kenny as well. Yeah, dude. Oh, rippers. Just rippers all around. Sick team and everyone's so tight. Yeah. yeah. That's it, man. And there's um, they don't just cover the downhill boards. They're, you know, I've got the... It's not in the room right now, but I've got the Pranayama. So I was yeah. chatting to you today. I was like, if you know, this whole Pantheon thing that you have going, you need to get get your hands on the LDP board because I, was, I think I've mentioned it before on the podcast, but I was just like not not that interested in getting an LDP board. And I was had some conversations with Pantheon, got one sent over. Yeah, it's one of the funnest boards that I have to ride on. Eh? It's so everyone has the same reaction. Like they yeah. they know what they're expecting, like a drop platform board, but then they hop on like, wow. This is fun as so I cannot good. wait to Have you rode an LDP board before? I uh, don't think Just so. Just like cruising around. No. We go skate the car parks and I'll bring it. Bring them? Yeah. For sure. So my, I've got the Pranayama. They just recently updated the graphic on it. And when I grab this board and my dog <laughs> sees me grab that board in particular, <laughs> you see how many with? boards are in here. He knows yeah. that's the board I use when I take him for runs around the university. It's like I pick the board up and he gets all excited. <laughs> but if I pick up my downhill board, uh, he's yeah. like, yeah, later. Yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah. See you when you get home. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so LD, um, the LDP boards from Pantheon, 
they got the dancers, the downhill boards, just like some of the highest, like such high quality. So I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome year. Yeah, and just year. quickly, like, give a lot of shout outs on the podcast. I'm going to give a shout out to Rain for the eight years of support. Thank you, boys. Um, for you, yeah. that's pretty outstanding. And and I always always give you your flowers and your props <laughs> to say like how loyal you are to the companies that support you. So yeah. they are incredibly lucky to have you. But like you said, there's a new chapter, and and it's it's not always a. Oh, I guess the right. I don't know the right word to use. It's not always a negative to be saying goodbye to a team like that because it opens up doors for other skaters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So you had you know the pro board, um, in your name, and then re in recent times I opened up um like a space for another pro board on the team. But with you gone now and having your you know that board taken up, I guess so much room in the lineup, it opens up doors for other skateboarders. Uh, you know, we've got Anna sitting here who's a, a rain team rider and she's ripping and she's going around the world. Yeah. And and as a, I guess, you know, not as, as big of a scale, but as a brand owner myself and someone, I guess we can all understand like what it would be like to run a brand. You'd want someone who's putting in that effort and you did that. Anna's doing it. There's so many other great riders on rain who are doing it. So shout out to rain. I wish them all the best and I know yeah. you do too. Um, but yeah, you're on to Pantheon now and it's, it's just, yeah, it's just sad. interesting. You're not my team teammate <sighs> I'm still anymore. here. I'll still stay <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so. No, nah, it's awesome. Like this Now that Harry's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Sydney scene is uh, struggling once again. Uh, but like in the skate community, there's no bad brands. You can't really look at any brand and be like, there's, mm. that's bad like that's the best thing about it you could you know go to any brand and they're all amazing they're all going to open their arms but like it's where you really find your home at and you know new chapters call for new changes i see man yeah. and it's just going to be exciting from here on in yeah it'd be sick yeah dude yeah i have to take over yeah, yeah. 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 Part the of the rain yeah. team yeah, yeah. Keep the maybe i have to start racing more then. yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there, there was a bit of a movement back in the day about getting me to pro board i think we might change that direction to get an anna pro board yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, dude there's been pro, there's been i actually tried writing a list one time of all the pro boards that have come out and let's say there's a lot but in terms of pro board for women who are such an important part of what we do yeah. There needs Definitely. to be and more. I can think of in two, general, three. like not yeah. just women, but just riders with small feet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Maybe Yeah>. Like <laughs> I don't know. They sometimes forget about that. But yeah. Some people have really small feet, and it like feels yeah. so different. Exactly. You know, like <laughs> it's really hard for me to ride a board that is super wide because. Yeah. My feet are like half the size nah. of some dudes. So. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually never put any thought into that. Yeah. Have people with yeah. smaller feet? It took me really long <laughs> yeah. to find out too. Really? Like basically the the libido from rain that I'm yeah, riding now like was the board. first board that actually fit my feet. True. And, and you're like, wow, so I, I can was turn. Like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a bit of leverage on this thing. <laughs> this is so much easier all of a sudden. So you're riding libido? Yeah. Right now, the updated version or the previous version? The previous version. Okay. I tried the updated version, but it they made it wider, so I was like, "Fuck, not again!" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Better yeah. make your own one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that's actually sick. something um, important to talk about. There are a lot of board brands who are making narrow boards to fit narrow trucks, but yeah, taking into account the female riders, the smaller riders, people with smaller feet. The groms. Yeah, I mean, also, like, if we want to get, like, a new generation into the sport, yeah. we might as well, like, think yeah. about making equipment that way that makes it easier. Suit them well, for I sure. like, I it's, know. it'd be hard for, um, you know, those companies that are pumping out hundreds and hundreds of boards, like your land yachts or something. But I like, for an example would be, and shout out to Diego 9.81 Skateboards, where they make Diego's Pro model and there's they make some various changes to it in terms of width, length as well. Yeah. So, uh, so they're having like, I guess, the bones that you'd say of a pro model board or even just a board design. Um, and then they're... They make like, it fit. They're accommodating they, for the small feet, the yeah. narrow, the wider, the this, the that. Which is sick, yeah. Yeah. It's just, oh, man, they're, they're, we could, there's so many brands right now who are doing awesome things. We'd be too long. We'd we be way be too, long. too long. 
<laughs> but yeah, just touching on Anna and a small feet. We were in Hawaii and she's, <laughs> we're going to Walmart and I'm trying to find her and she's in the kids section. Because <laughs> you can feel that sound, so. Yeah, because we're stuck in the mud, so I really <laughs> needed some new socks and the kids' socks it's are cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Hawaii is expensive as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so the mud. Oh, <laughs> just quickly. We'll touch on it. We're talking yeah. about the mud now. Talking about the mud. Shout the out to the mud. mud. Great. I want to say shout out to. David Bubier because he started all this. <laughs> I was, what, he I brought was, the rain? Dude, I was there in 2000 and whatever year it was when he first stumbled out into that, you know, into the mud and he stayed for a bit of time there and it's kind of like a legend, like a great story that's spread through downhill since David did that and yeah. people caught on and it was like, I think when we were in Argentina and it was like, yeah, we're going to go to Hawaii. And it was like a game of Chinese whispers. Someone heard, oh, well, they're yeah. going to Hawaii. And All so, of a sudden, oh. everyone was like, oh, homeless in Hawaii? Let's do oh, it. Let's go. <laughs> Just think about that. <laughs> homeless in Hawaii. It's like a TV series. <laughs> it could have it damn near been a TV series. <laughs> well, I did feel like a homeless person when I was there because I was like, I mean, how many times Count, did you counting s- my coins if I can still afford food that day? And <laughs> how many times did you sleep indoors? Like never. We slept on the beach. We slept on the mountain, and we'd go back. What a question! How many times did I wake up wet? I was about to say, <laughs> was the, the tent rain. dry at any point, or was it just always? Well, wet? actually, I just went there with my hammock. I didn't oh. even bring a tent. Did so you have a tarp for the hammock? I, no? I went to buy a tent at some point I in Walmart. It. But yeah, <laughs> so there was like a point system. Mm, I saw that. That looked interesting. Chase, Connor, and David, who I would, I'd say, you know, they were the OGs on this trip. They were there from, I think Chase and Connor were there from prior to Chris. No, sorry, Chase and da- Connor and David, sorry, were there from prior to Christmas. Yeah, and then Chase came a bit after, and they were there for a long time. And I rocked up on the fifteenth of January and. Got to hang with those boys and stay at Anthony's and shout out to everyone that we hung out with. But then the people just kept coming, dude. <laughs> it was just like so many people. Could the camp accommodate? Dude. Mm. Well, <laughs> no one tight. really wanted to stay there because it was so wet and, and uh, muddy. With, with your arm, try and show <laughs> the camera how steep it looked our like that. little commune was. Like, <laughs> try to walk from <laughs> the bottom tent to the top tent. Yeah, it's true. It was kind of like yeah. this. So <laughs> it, like, my tent was here, so that was pretty nice. But the people that were camping down there, like with the rain, it was just oh, like, just copped it yeah, all. Not that nice. Dude, <laughs> one of my one of my I have lots of favorite moments from the mud, and like I said, we'll probably do another whole podcast on this because we could talk for hours. <laughs> but one night in the mud, the dinner in the mud. So it's like there's like a kitchen in the mud. It's like a gas cooker. Um, uh, the gourmet meal that the boys well, we were all having, sorry, in the mud was um beans and rice. <laughs> yeah, that's Quite basically cheap. because yeah, because it was homeless in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having well, beans. I I think rice and beans are pretty nice. Feeling. I like eating rice and beans. Yeah. <laughs> Says Anna, the nutritious. skater who's saving for holiday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're in the mud one night. We're all eating beans and rice, and someone goes, "We should put a movie on." Oh, we're that in a was bush sick. movie night. <laughs> So, of we course, Chase piped up. He goes, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's watch Surf's Up. So, Clark <laughs> grabs his, I think it was Clark grabs his phone. Instead of going on Netflix, Clark's like, yeah, I know this, like, pirate <laughs> website or something. Had to type in, like, dot .cz, this, <laughs> that, all this other stuff. Gets Surf's Up, puts the phone, like, up on a tree branch. Luckily, I don't. I think it was Jazzy had a speaker, so we could like Bluetooth the speaker. So there's a speaker hanging up on a branch, yeah. five meters behind <laughs> us. Got surround sound. They were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you almost Mud couldn't sun. see the screen because it was so <laughs> tiny, but at least you could understand you what they were saying. <laughs> the screen was so small. We're all eating, we're sitting down on this hill, steep as looking up at it, just going eating our beans and rice, and all of a sudden, go someone goes, dude. Who put the subtitles on? <laughs> like why, why is there subtitles on a small ass phone screen? Yeah. So it's taken up half the screen. Yeah. <laughs> no, the mud. Um, yeah. Well, we did skate though. Every yeah. day, actually. See, a lot of people have been saying to me, how is Hawaii? And like, you know, I've been heaps of times. But that was the least skating I've done yeah. in Hawaii but due to the rain. But you... 
because you can't keep Anna still for anyone who knows Anna. <laughs> it was like so. raining and everyone's just had it and everyone's wet and Anna's just taken her 19th run of the hill. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I couldn't really deal with it. That's why I booked another flight to go to Oahu. <laughs> 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 I checked the weather and the weather was better there. We had so um, I left Team Mud by themselves yeah, and I, I went alone to skate in the sunshine. It was pretty sick, actually. <laughs> 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 that was because um, we got the same flight from Maui to Oahu and then you stayed for how many more days? For another week. Yeah. And it, d- Did you stay with Kaylin? Who did you end up staying yeah, with? Like, yeah, actually I stayed in my hammock most of the time. Because like Kalen showed me around and then he showed me a spot in North Shore. Yeah. And I loved North Shore. It's so sick there. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> and I went surfing a few days too. And then I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm just going to hang my hammock on the beach in North Shore and <laughs> not go anywhere. <laughs> did you surf in North Shore? Yeah. What did you? What was Pipeline doing when you were there? Was it still big? Because when it I was, was there, it was It was not that huge. big actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. They had the competition on in that week. Yeah. So it was quite busy in the area as well. It was mm. quite nice. Because when I was um, there. But the waves were not like that scary. Yeah. <laughs> when I was there, just I went to Oahu for a day before I flew to Maui and I'm on the beach watching the back door comp. So there's the eddy, which is at Waimea, uh, I believe. But I was at Pipeline watching the back door. I'm sitting down with my with my mate Kavai, shout out Kavai, and there's like a, a few hundred people on the beach watching the waves. There's huge waves here. People are getting pumped, and but it's just enjoying it. And I had my camera, and then it kind of everyone went like a bit silent. I mean, bro, what's going on? Kelly Slater walking really? down the beach. Yeah. You know what I mean, like it's Kelly Slater. You, feel <laughs> me? you got her. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so you went to Oahu. Did you skate a lot on Oahu or just surf? No, I skated a lot too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was the main mission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Can't there watch. was like this one road close to Pipeline that it, like, you can hitchhike up because it's super busy. There's a lot of cars. And Is that the one with the food land at yeah, the bottom? Yeah, that it sto- like it ends yeah. at food land. And <laughs> <laughs> it was so busy at the supermarket too because like all these surfers from the comp, they would like buy yeah. their food there. And everyone was <laughs> really hyped every time we arrived at the bottom. <laughs> People were like, oh, yeah. what's that? That's so sick. And then everyone gave us rides up. So <laughs> I just kind of like yeah, slept close to there in the hammock and I was hitchhiking all day to take yeah. some runs down. So we'll f- in on Maui, <laughs> we're feeling a bit down some days due to the rain, but would you go back? Yeah, for sure. Mm. I would love to come back with a bit better weather. Yeah, of course. Because especially the road where we camped, it was so sick. And I only got one dry run mm. <laughs> yeah. in the whole week. <laughs> Did you get to go to the top? Yeah. Because po- uh, Yeah, like the first day I arrived and Chase gave me a ride up the hill. And then it was like super patchy and foggy and about to get dark, but I had my board and I didn't have to drive down. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to ride down. Yeah. But yeah, that was not really the same, like <laughs> taking a proper run. It was more surviving down to the bottom. So that road, <laughs> if you know Maui, you know the road that we're talking about, but it used to be completely open all the way to the top. And it ends at, it ends the paved road, the paid road, Paved road ends, it goes to a dirt road, which you can go to the top of Haleakala, which is the crater there. But there's a gate about, I'd say halfway from the bottom that's shut off for cars. And so luckily Chase, David, Connor, like most of the boys who are staying there for a long time have bought like mopeds or motorbikes. So yeah, if you were lucky enough to get a hitch on Chase's bike or David's bike or someone, they could get around the gate and you could go to the top. It's my first time going to Maui out of eight times or seven times and I haven't been to the top of Polly's. (laughs) And the the nicest thing at the top of Polly's, sometimes you're completely above the clouds. You're not in the midst of them, you're not like in the middle of them or just under, you're completely above them. So you're at the top Crazy. of you're at the top of Polly's and you're looking out through like this gap in the trees. It's just beautiful white clouds, and you know that okay, if there's that many because cl- there's clear days a lot of the time. But you think you got to think if there's that many clouds at some stage down this twenty seven hairpin or whatever corner hill. <laughs> I've got to go through them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and it's crazy because you start when the sun's above you, the beautiful white clouds are out to the right, and then you're going through like the thickest. 
fog through this hill sometimes. Just can't see. Yeah, I didn't get to go to the top this time, so I'm kind of spewing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I'll just have to go back, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got to go back, yeah. That's <laughs> almost right. like yearly tradition, isn't it, for you? For me, yeah. First time in 2015 and... Back ever since, every yeah. year. You'll have to come next yeah. time. Every yeah. year? Oh, except COVID years. Except COVID. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I took my brother there one time for like a non... Just when he finished high school and it was like lots of hikes and stuff. And then... Yeah, I did a really nice hike this time with most people. I think it was like the day before you got there, Anna. We did this like really cool hike. Um, yeah, the nature is so nice. Mm. There. I've, I've been over there for a holiday as well. Beautiful. And we did heaps of hiking. Did you? Oh. What island did you go to? The main, like the... Oahu? Hon- yeah. Yeah, with Honolulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we did all of those. Like so they're, they're all pretty sick. I like... Maui's my favourite. I think the next time I go to Hawaii... I like, I'm always going to go back to Maui and Oahu too. There's some great people on Oahu and, like, the surfing is good to watch or even do and the skating. But I really would like to go to Big Island one day. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I heard there's some good spots too. Mm. But yeah, where's – so your next trip? Philippines. Philippines. What, what are you thinking, Jaden? <laughs> well, I know I'm you got I'm a house in your hands, yeah. but th- you can't stop having fun. I'm, I'm going to Europe. But I'm not bringing my skateboard, unfortunately. What? Oh, yeah, I know. What yeah, do you mean? I I got, I got a few uh, mates and I that are going. Come go on, over you there. can even take yeah, an yeah. We're going on. through the French house <laughs> and everything, and I'm just going to be spewing the whole time. But, uh, it was stop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I should get like the bus driver to just do what, follow around. Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a Kentucky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With your partner? No, a few of my mates. Oh, a few of your yeah, mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From Wait, like school what, what or something. Yeah, school and that. What is that? So mm. a Kentucky, Anna, it's a, I, I don't know. It's, if it's, it's like a paid tour. In it's a, way. a piss yeah. up around Europe for young <laughs> oh, <yeah>. people. <laughs> you you yeah. pay this big amount of money and they have this whole tour organised and all you need to do is get on the bus at the time they tell you to get on the bus. So it's like, it's good in a way because you can do all these you things and lot. not have to worry and yeah. you see oh, a lot. But you can't do what you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah exactly. <laughs> Maybe you should just extend that and just come on. Yeah, I was, I was really hoping to do that, but. This oh. house is dragging every bit of sense. Yeah, it like. sucks. Blood <laughs> out, man. Well, I reckon by yeah. then you'll make a lot more money. Yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. There you should yeah. start a downhill skateboarding singlet business. I yeah. reckon. Yeah. 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 Pump yeah. Um, no one else will. Let's t- I don't know if yeah. any new business in downhill skateboarding is going to make us rich. Nah, single <laughs> <choice>. <laughs> <laughs> Now, before we <laughs> punch on, Midi, talk about um, you had a lot we of people. We punch on, like move along, yeah. or like literal punch on. Literally punch. Oh, on. okay, very good. You had a few people um, reach out with some concerns during the week. Um, well, you kicked me off the team. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, face the camera, tell the viewers why I kicked you off to get that team. Uh, he didn't like my work ethic. Um, he said I just cost the company too much money. Um, I don't. Was it the singlet? Money. Was it the singlet? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So chopped one of your shirts up because <laughs> it's hot and I needed something that let me breathe. Okay. Why is that bad, Jack? Stop there. Imagine skating with singlets, but. Oh, fuck. Dude, all right. <laughs> I need to just, we need to address this, this situation. My name's Jack Main. <laughs> I'm the owner of Get That Skate and I refuse to have a product that I would not wear. You'd something look good in this. It's something I would never wear, a singlet. Why not? So Midi, Midi's a bit upset with me because we've started like this joke around um, his Samsung phone. There I said it. <laughs> and in return, he's gone and chopped up and get that shirt into a singlet, which I said, this is the one thing you can't do. And you know what? <laughs> there's either going to be heaps of people who are going, yeah, what the hell, Midi? Why you and then there's going to be people that are like, Oh, I'm going to piss Jack off. I'm going to chop my get that yeah, shirt do, up. Yeah, you just chop it like to here and it looks real good. Yeah. Just I'll, give you, I'll, I'll do a tutorial on my Instagram later. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to get that shirt, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. dude, I had people hitting me up saying, what, is everything all good with you at MIDI? <laughs> <laughs> and you had people hitting yeah, you I up. Yeah, I know. I had like, like eight people straight into my DMs. And the funniest thing I just told you right before this podcast, <laughs> you guys had to go pick up drinks. We pulled up to the... The uh, the beverage <laughs> store, which was next to the takeaway beverage store. And I saw some of my friends and I was like, I'll quickly go say good day. Quickly, Jack Terms. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, I was there for ages. I got stuck. But they were like, oh, what's been happening, bro? Da, 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 da. How was Hawaii? This, that. What have you been doing today? I was like, skating. Like, 
This is for real as well. For yeah. real, they go, <laughs> "Oi, what's going on with you and that dude that was like on like on the team?" I'm like, well, I didn't know I had a team, but yeah, um, I was, yeah, I kicked him off because he wears a singlet, and they're like, "Bro, what? Like, what the hell? What do you mean?" I'm like, "Dude, I just can't stand singlets." For those who don't know what a singlet is, it's a tank top. Tank top. Yeah, I had like maybe two or three people say, "What is a singlet?" Oh, I'm like, "What do you?" That's right, because we call thongs. Yeah. <laughs> thongs. <laughs> we got different language thongs. Thongs. We call yeah. flip flops thongs. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we are. Yeah, different. En- yeah. Enough about shirts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah enough about shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to move on from the singlet. Topic. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you hate it. I can, I can be shaken. <laughs> <laughs> you get that soon. We're waiting. Put in the comments what you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Type in the comments what you'd like to see from Get That. I'm working on it. Don't say it, singlets. Don't say it, yeah. Or every comment is going to say <laughs> singlet now. Say singlets. If you say it enough, it'll happen. You pull him into pole. it. <laughs> <laughs> what else has been happening in downhill skateboarding? Sh- <sighs> shout out to 35 All Grip. Yeah, I've been listening to him. I'm just yeah. like, this is the reason why I started to Get That Skate Podcast a couple of years ago is because I... You listen to podcasts when you're driving, when you finish work, whatever, mm. when you're doing work, when yeah. you're skating sometimes even. And I really wanted to consume what I'm most passionate about, which was which is downhill skateboarding. And I started this. And it, honestly, at the start, I was like, I hope this kind of makes other people start something. And not saying that get that, you know, sparked 35 all grip. Those dudes are killing it. They have some great conversations. Yeah. Um, and I'm just keen to hear so many more and I'm keen to hear more people jump into the podcast space. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I'm trying to consume. I watch all the, I, I love watching skate videos. I love looking at artwork, photos, this, that, the other, but podcast is, um, yeah, you can chuck it on and you take up an hour and two hours yeah. of your time and it's amazing. hear stories, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, 35 or Grip's awesome because, like, we went to NC and yeah. now hearing how about how they found those hills, how they, like, who first skated them and everything, how they were named and stuff. That's it's some backstory. So cool, man. I reckon we need to do more of that as well with our stuff, but I'd love to see, like, people in Vancouver do it, you know, like someone come yeah. out over there and do it. So I actually spoke to some of the boys from Canada that are reaching out saying they're thinking of starting a podcast. Send it. Do and it. And I was like, yeah, for do sure. it. Yeah, there's, there's enough there's enough room for everyone to be doing something exactly like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, my thing is it's so hard to get people on the podcast as I was saying. So if anyone in the, if anyone wants to come to Australia and jump on the podcast, it's an open invitation. But if you're in the New South Wales area or yeah. Queensland, Victoria, wherever, just come on down. <laughs> we'll talk. Bring some stories. Cause it'd be cool to hear uh, like, well, it's just a, it's a thing that I guess downhill, may have it's like it's just like surfing like you go somewhere and the surfers have all the names for the different waves and that my friend Kavai was sh- taking me to north shore on oahu one day and he knows he because he surfs out there all the time yeah. he knows like every single break he's like oh this one's called this this one's called that this one's called that i can see the fourth beach he told me the fourth break he told me about 100 meters down the road and there's a name for everything and it makes you think with downhill like all the cool names mm. a simple simple story is um like, do you know the story about Duddy's Duddy's Benz? Yeah, yeah. Like how that name how came named. about? Did you just Duddy come across it first or something? Were you there? I wasn't there, but I've heard the story. Yeah, there. you tell the story. So Benny's Benz had been around for years. I don't even know how long. Maybe eight years, ten years up to that point. And uh, Rob Dog was turning, I think, thirty. So we decided we'd have a camp night at Benny's out the back parking lot, at the back camping sites. Um, and then when the gates were closed, because the rangers didn't like a skate in there, go and skate that in the dark and have a good, you know, mm. party and everything. And the reason we never went out past Benny's is because at the top of Benny's it goes to dirt. And we're like, okay, that's obviously it. We got up over the dirt and then turned in and it goes from dirt back to butter, even better than Benny's. Mm. So we're driving in the campsite and we're all like freaking out. We all kind of got there at once. And then without any prompt... Daddy had just sprinted up this hill and it's like 20% and he, mm. he's not the fittest man in the world. He, and, but I, he ran like I thought no he tomorrow. was the fittest man <laughs> yeah. in the world. That's what he'll tell you. Shout out Daddy. <laughs> My man. Uh, he ran up it and did the first rundown. He, uh, he made his way down. Actually, I think he stacked it in the righty. And, 
but yeah, that's like the story of how it became Duddies because he was first to skate it. He gets to name it and yeah, he called it Duddies. Actually, I think everyone else said this is now Duddies. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great story. It's awesome. And awesome hill. Have you named any hills before Anna? Hmm. That's a good question, actually. Any first? In the various places that you've lived? I mean, like the spot where I started, I just always called it the zoo because it's the parking lot of a zoo. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. um, Yeah. And I was pretty much the only one skating there most of the time, so... Only one who could give it a name. (laughs) What about you spent a few (laughs) years in Portugal where all the spots found by the time you got there? Or were you still out searching for hills when you were in Portugal? Um, A little bit, yeah. Like in that area where I lived. But I didn't really have a car most of the time. So I just discovered like the close slide hills. Mm. I usually don't name them because... I skate a lot by myself, so no reason to like no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> have a name for it because yeah, yeah. you don't need to tell anyone where you're going. Anna's Hills. <laughs> <laughs> they're mine. Yeah. They're, all, they're all top secret. <laughs> Jaden, have you named any hills before? Um, I wouldn't say I've named. I think Mitty and I, will, we kind of grew up skating the same hills all the time. Yeah, just we kind of kinda just come across, either we look at the street name and think it's yeah. cool enough and we like run that. Yeah. It's like... A hill that was our local, probably our best little hill, and it was at the back of an estate, so we called it Back Hill. We're pretty, we're pretty <laughs> yeah. simple people. Yeah, Middle where hill. you really spent some time <laughs> on the drawing board with yeah, that one. Yeah, exactly. Looked at it, and like yeah. it's at the back, yeah. back hill. <laughs> Maybe we should go out and explore for some new yeah. hills tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Have you named hills? <laughs> um, yeah. When I was younger, I grew up in a town named Carryong. We're gonna go skate Carryong tomorrow, and Carryong is a suburb on top of a hill. So, like, when you're young, you can't skate to the next suburb because you got to go down like the highway. Um, you could cross the highway and go to a place called Summersby, and there's like it's the it's actually the old Pacific Highway, the very start of it before they built the new freeway, the yeah. new highway, and um, it's like. Are not so steep. And these are just straight hills. I'm going back a long time now. Not so steep with one slight bend in it. And when you come around that bend, you see the other side of this hill, which is when you're coming down this side, you, this would look like a wall. Oh, those so are my favorite. There's like the gnarly <laughs> side and then the chill side. So we called the chill side chill hill. And the other side, Kill Hill, because it's like <laughs> so dangerous. But it, um, Can we go to gnarly, the Kill Hill tomorrow? Are they gnarly to this day? <laughs> no, no, no that's yeah, no. like it's that's funny, r- that isn't it? So there was Chill Hill, there was Kill Hill, and there was another side which was actually faster and longer. And because it was the old Pacific Highway, um, a lot of people called it Pacific, but you went over a bridge that went over the freeway that we have here on the coast and um, I just call it bridge. It was really sad. A lot of motorbike riders use it as a, like a, I don't know what the terminology is, but like a speed, they check their speed. Like they try to get top speeds there Yeah, yeah. because it's just straight roads. They try and just get, sometimes you'll be out there. I was out there skating as a Grom and have a motorbike come past me like 250. Easy. Probably more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, it was really sad. The council or whoever repaved it to like, purposely rough gritty loose gravel type roads and it's funny i was with milo who's out in the crowd tonight yeah. sitting in the podcast room <laughs> shout out to milo my friend who Chucky talks milk. funny <laughs> um, he had the uh, i don't know if it was it's probably a negative but i'm gonna say he had the luck of uh, coming with me and and to hear all these stories that i'm saying now and i was thinking it's been like six or seven years since i skated these roads mm. and that these days it's like they're, they're quite easy roads but it's the reminiscing thing like yeah. going back to those hills that you grew up skating on like it's always nice to chase the next gnarly hill but sometimes yeah i go up there and i'm like these yeah, hills is nice. without these yeah. hills what would i work, like it, where it brings back be? memories yeah. and it makes yeah. you like realize your progress exactly oh, well, but we'll go to a hill tomorrow this is an interesting hill um in carryong where i grew up there's the entrance to the f- to the freeway the highway and then there's another side that's called um mount penang and mount, mount penang re- in uh oh, i'm got not that recent now but they got a high school for carryong so carryong high school's there but in Mount Penang, 
there's a beautiful like gardens that you can walk through and they've had some music festivals there before and like I said the high school but over the back of Mount Penang there's um a road and at the top of the road there's a juvenile detention center so like a juvie jail yeah. mm-hmm. and at the bottom there's a maximum security prison but the right road the other. road in between them is known as suicide hill and I didn't name. I <laughs> oh, didn't. Is I that didn't, the uh, one that you showed me, where you said yeah. someone killed himself? In no, that was at U Minor. Oh, that's a nut. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, for people who are listening and might be um, triggered by the words that we've just used. We apologise, but there was a death of a child that went, uh, a teenager that went down in a, a wheelie bin at one of those roads, mm, um, which is really crazy. sad. And, and yeah. that road is really steep. Yeah, um, safety first. You always want to use be safe and use spotters and think about what you can handle when you're on these hills. But yeah, Suicide Hill is uh, in between the two jails, and we'll go there tomorrow. And I'll if I hopefully I can get a real clip or something and chuck it up to show people. But it's a really fun hill. A couple of good corners and Jeb, who's in the crowd as well. We went there last week. What do you think of it, Jeb? Pretty good hill. <laughs> <laughs> Double thumbs. Double thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Actually, um, if we're talking about this, like. Suicide hills and, and spotters <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> How do you guys do that when you like skate by yourself um, here in Australia? I feel like everyone skates <laughs> by themselves a lot because we're all mm, like super far out. away from each other. Mm. I think, um, and I feel like I don't know. I love like really steep spots, mm. so I always go to the steepest road, which is like the Thane Destroyer or whatever you call it, the one where you film. Yeah, you've been skating backside TV yeah, a the, lot. Yeah, the and backside, that is and gnarly. and it feels like so scary by myself because yeah. I don't know about the cars. I saw Jeb mm. going like eighty k's around that like bottom right. Yeah, it's, it's a it's long so right, fast. and a car reversed out of its driveway straight in the middle of the road, and he threaded a one foot gap like. <laughs> skating yeah. Australia, uh, I, I yeah. see where you're going. Skating in Australia is gnarly yeah. because our hills are steep, narrow, and our drivers are mainly idiots. Yeah, so like, did, do you have any any like tips for what you usually do <laughs> when yeah. you're by yourself, or you Come just on. like we've got a it? we've got a solo skater extraordinaire because <laughs> he lives so far from everyone. This is Jeb. He's from Canberra, in the middle of absolute nowhere, <laughs> and he originally come from Townsville, which is even far north in the absolute middle of nowhere. <laughs> come in a bit further. So, when I'm skating solo, sometimes the thing that I'd do is I'd get a traffic cone and I'd put it at the intersection of the oh. corner that I'm setting, <laughs> but That's out onto the lane a bit more. So, when cars come around the corner, they can't cut the corner at all. They have to go slow around the road cone. That is so, smart. I've got like a... Yeah, safety cone get, spot off. Yeah, right. So is that like legal? Second. And then you wear get that high vis as well. Hot <laughs> 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 dog. Yeah. Get that high vis and your shirt's coming soon. That's that, smart. That That's cone. Yeah. Have you skated lefty on the central yeah, coast? Yeah, yeah, that could be very used. Lefty is this great little hill that we have, and at the end of the run, you can uh, drift and turn left, or you can drift and turn right, or group it. T you section, can, you yeah. can It's a T intersection in a quiet residential residential area. However, the people that live in that hill who drive up that road every day cut the corner where if you were coming down, you'd be turning left. So you're turning left like this. They cut the corner mm. so bad sometimes. Mm. I had a really unfortunate kind of situation. Didn't hit a car and touch wood because you, you don't want that to happen. But um, I had these little girls who were delivering newspapers and they thought what I was doing was like, crazy and they're like oh can we film you probably for their tiktok or something <laughs> and then uh, i come down and i'm just doing what i usually do i drift i go as inside as i can and i come around the corner and this car is like less than the wheel was like less than your board away like just under just a meter away it. and what jeb just chimed in to share mm. to answer anna's question is a cone that's one thing that you could do definitely It's just that I, I would just say the usual thing, the staying in your lane. Yeah. I mean, I always do that. But mm. then, like, the last time I skated there, I saw, like, a massive truck driving up while I was taking a break. And I was like, yeah, Oof. it's good uh, that I was taking a break in that moment. It kinda, <laughs> actually kind of, like, brings back memories when, like, Mitch and I, when we used to skate when we first started skating. And we used to have cones going all the way up a hill. Because we yeah. used to just do like slalom all We'd the way make down, big GS, like and, do, and do like oh, make no. drifts into this hill. But at the same time, it'd like stuff the it was, cars. It was slow, slow down, down cars yeah. on the street as they're coming mm. up. It was but like a double. I had like a cop that used to live next to us, mm. and he'd be all about it. 
Yeah, he thought it was sick. He probably thought it was we're like putting we're doing, we're doing, public doing yeah, like ten of them. I love Stokes people. Yeah, yeah. and he was a cop, the Highway <laughs> Patrol. He loved it. Yeah, yeah. It sick. It but is hard, and uh, in Australia, we've we have some great skaters, some amazing spots, but everyone is very um, what's the terminology like? Few and far between, or yeah. far apart, it's I guess is uh, simply yeah. put. Um, like it, and everyone's working a lot too. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's tricky. Oh, I think. Well, that. I guess we just need to have more organized events with people to have notice yeah. on when we're skating. Like we had the GS the other day. Yeah, it was sick. Shout out to Duddy. Um, Duddy put together a giant slalom event, which is at a hill that's um very, I, I guess, like iconic, sac- iconic sacred to Australia. It's super safe. It's a closed road in the Blue Mountains that we've used for downhill events. But over the years, there's been some giant slalom events mm. there. And um, it adds on a new which spot was it? Uh, Pumpy. Pump station. It's a closed road in the mountains. I don't think you've been there. I we'll take I you there. Know. It's cool. But it's uh, the giant slalom makes it different because yeah. it was becoming too easy for downhill. It's a very safe, beginner-friendly downhill track. It's just like... Yeah. It's like it's it's not the same length with as many turns, but it's something like Merry Hill where it's so easy to skate, but it's hard to win a race there. Yeah, everyone can skate it great. Everyone can skate it really well. Yeah. So it's a hard race, but the track's easy. So my yeah. I've been going there for a long time. Four events, mm. four just to skate. If we're in the mountains, you can drop by and even just take one run and get out of there. But adding the cones to the course for GS, GS is giant slalom for those who might not be familiar it makes that place so much funner. Yeah. I reckon. And it makes me realize how much I suck at slalom. It's tricky. Yeah. I it's never fun. tried. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You think you're going to have be, fun there doing it. It's fun, but you think you're going to be semi decent and everything, but like you get whooped by some older men. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they've been in the sport. Exactly. For a while, hey? yeah, that's a shout <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like sh- all the boys. A Duba came out. Yeah. I haven't seen Duba in so long. Yeah. Um, but like, Slalom, that's one thing, uh, yeah, I need to get better at. And uh, really, yeah, showed. I feel like almost no one is still doing that. No, like only the OGs, yeah. There's like the OGs are doing it's it, some the, up and comers. The, 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 the issue is, I mean, World Roller Game, World Skate Game shined a lot of light on Slalom, and hopefully, people around the world are taking action to hold more Slalom events. But Australia used to have the Conehead Cup which was a slalom series where you could earn points and then you'd be crowned the you know the winner of the 2007 Conehead Cup. It's just with, and this is my view on it from someone because I grew up going to those slalom events. I went to like five slalom events before my first downhill event because that was what was mostly happening in the country. But although this isn't a, a I guess, specifically or like designated slalom board, you have a short board mm. with a short wheelbase you have super turny trucks. You got a stiff truck at the back. It's, and I like that Duddy and anyone else is willing to put a giant slalom race on because you go to these giant slalom is the cones are more spread apart. Spread you've apart, got, got you've some got, curves to it. Yeah, you got tight slalom, hybrid slalom. Giant slalom is my favorite because I can use my downhill board. But you'd be surprised, and I'm mm. sure you could agree with me after the weekend that we just had. It actually can improve your downhill skating. Oh, 100%. Like yeah, ten, tenfold. Because sure. yeah. you're moving in ways and trying to achieve turns quicker than you ever would if you were just skating a hill yeah. normally. And knowing where to put your weight and stuff. Exactly. Teaching yeah. you how to pump. I thought I knew how to pump before that. And yeah. Then it yeah. feels yeah. like I'm going nowhere yeah. and I watch Jacko come down and he's flying. It's tricky. Yeah. It's, uh, you go really good at slalom. Don't even I, I love doing it. Yeah. Jack, if he trained... If you did slalom more often, probably would be on the team. Yeah. He's that good. You did it in Argentina, were you? It was Playing a weird it. little thing that happened. So we had, obviously, shout out to Nathan Paff, shout out to Shadow, shout out to Pickles, Imi and Ishi, the five Australian riders that were on the uh, slalom team. But we rocked up to the giant slalom, which was held at Punta Negra, where the downhill track was. Mm. And they were doing the GS very quickly because I have to, I guess, shout myself out for this. <laughs> they had the start ramp less than halfway on the straight. Mm, they didn't do the whole the whole straight. No, nah, dude. And I went up to some of the dudes organising. And shout out to them because they're all lovely people and they listened. But I was like, I'm, if you want this to be a world-class giant slalom it's event, be next level. you need to make it a giant slalom event. Mm. And there were people saying, oh, it's going to be too fast. I'm... That's what we're here for. That's what we're here <laughs> yeah. for. That's what giant slalom yeah. is. And um, they moved the start line up 
and the organizers because it was a live streamed event of course like mo- like i guess all to my knowledge all of the world skate games events but the organizer said do you guys want to as in daddy and myself the team coach and the mm-hmm. team manager do, do you guys want to jump in you want to break this I'm in thinking, for us dude i would love nothing more than to jump <laughs> in and and so we we're under the impression and the the person who first spoke to us kind of led us to be like would you like to compete we're thinking, yep, yep Marcus sub me in. for Australia. <laughs> da, 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 da. It turns out in the end, they um they just wanted us to a practice the timing systems, mm-hmm. and b in the downtime for the live stream, they wanted to sh- continue showing clips of people skateboarding. So Daddy and I got um to take some runs and. All I'm going to say is, if our times counted, our times would have counted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? They're all up there. Yeah. That's but sick. quickly, just last thing on the uh, Daddy Slalom event last week, mm. it's actually, uh, the word is inaugural. Inaugural, the beginning of? The beginning of um, a yearly event for our beloved Glenn Mills, who passed away a couple years ago now. Um, Daddy has been putting in work for over 10 years now, holding a skate park event for their friend Julos, who they lost. Mm-hmm. Um, over a decade ago now, and now Duddy's decided we need something for Millsy. Of course, we need something for Millsy. And Millsy was um, one of the most stylish people I've ever seen on a skateboard. There's some clips. There's there are clips of clips him out there. Find he them. he shredded every discipline. Every discipline. Yeah, yeah. So I particularly, if I had to like say what I like the most about Millsy and watching him skate was in a ditch. I was about to say the ditch. Yeah. That clip recently that someone shared. Yeah, Dude. and he's like slashing around the cones. He, we, yeah, yeah there's, won't get into it, but there used to be a ditch event on the coast and Millsy would do tiny little hillside and her side drifts around the cones. Yeah. But yeah, Duddy's thoughts there were- There's a ditch in the coast? There's a ditch on the coast and we used to have slalom events with cones yeah. up. On I the never coast. tried to skate a ditch it's and I was so, so excited fun. about doing it in Hawaii, but then we arrived there and it was full of water. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so fun, Anna. I, I would love to put- that event on again it's a lot of work a lot of cleaning a lot like weeks of cleaning mm. but so um, like you can't just go there and skate it nah. usually it's you'd have dirty. a tough time it would be overgrown it'd be dirty sticks yep. yeah yeah but daddy decided we need to put something on yearly for millsy mm-hmm. and yeah so it's the inaugural millsy's giant slalom at pump station and every year at the start of february yep there we we're are. rolling for millsy Yep. Shout out to Duddy. Love Duddy. Yeah. Love you, Duddy. He, he flies under the radar. Yeah, but he's uh, well, he's like always there, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, Okay, so he doesn't fly on the radar. He's definitely there. And if it's a party, he's definitely there. Yeah. You know, so there. He won't win the race, but he'll win the party. Oh, yeah. He'll Every probably time. win the race too. He's, oh, he's had some success in the Masters. He's doing pretty good. But Shout like, Duddy. he definitely doesn't give himself enough credit. Nah. And that's what we're here for, Duddy. Give that you man that credit. even sent me a message today saying... I gotta read it word for word because it's so Duddy. <laughs> I, I was uh, we're, obviously we're chatting about the tattoos, but Duddy sends me a message today and called you to double check that you'd. Uh, yeah, he rang me <laughs> twice saying, "Have you looked at the message?" And my phone was gonna die, and I hadn't opened it, and I felt really bad. But he, I get this is Duddy. Ever just kick back and draw something? And he said to me, <laughs> "He's done like a big get that like graphic for me." Shout out to Duddy. Right, but no, I don't ever just kick back and draw something. I probably should. <laughs> yeah, just kick back and draw something. Get the juices <laughs> flowing. Yeah. Um, you said you wanted to get a ditch, Anna. I can think of a ditch that that's coming up. Ditch race. Ditch race. Oh we should probably God, talk about. So Anna. Let's talk about events that are coming up. Okay. Let's start from <laughs> We've the, got a bit the, of time. St- the start. Where's the ditch race? Anna, we'll get you to the said you race. wanted to skate a ditch. Yes, there's one on the coast, but every year there's a multi event weekend in multi Canberra. Multi day, yeah. Multi day, multi event weekend in Canberra called the Cross Cup. Yep. But they've been running Canberra. events in Canberra for years now, like skate park bowl events, these slalom events. And to be honest, and a lot of people who I mentioned this to in the slalom skateboarding you know, crews, I've still not been to Canberra for one of these slalom events. Mm. Neither have I, actually. Mm. Two weeks? I think. Or three weeks? Uh, the w- okay, so... I've got the dates. Yeah, somewhere. so we've got... We've got Yarra. I'm going to put the, the banners up. up here. Yeah. So we've got Yarra coming up. It's on the okay, 3rd, 4th, 5th of March, I'm pretty sure. Shout out to Julian. Thank you, Jules, for putting these events on. He has his other event 
uh, the weekend after, which would be what the 10, uh, I think it's a two uh, day. 11, 13. Ele- 11 to 13. Yep. yep. So 11 to 13 is Lake Mountain Freeride. And super sick. just touch on what the Lake Mountain Freeride is because a lot of yeah. people know what Yarra is. Is Julian's been quite successful with Yarra. It's our big race. Yep. Like it's our big race at the moment and it, yeah, awesome long track. Lake Mountain's more of your beginner friendly free ride. Still can go quick on the hill. Yeah. By the look of it, I've seen the videos. Um, you can go quick on that hill. He's going to have a little teams race. So it's okay. mainly a free ride. So it's mainly going to be free riding and all that. But he's going to have a little race. So it's more, yeah. as f- to my m- knowledge, Yara is for, you know. There's the primo. Racing. Yep. Top. And Lake Mountain is, it's for everyone, but he, Julian's really trying to put on events for beginners. Yeah, newcomers, yeah. people that like want to skate, but they're not sure. He's going to put on clinics as well. He's going to have some coaches there, I hope. Yep. Um, yeah, so he's getting people into it, which is sick. Yeah, so do you think the plan, uh, I guess the, you know, the plan for Julian and what he's doing with these events is for, cause we've got Yara on the weekend before Lake Mountain. Mm. Would you say it's a good idea for if you're a beginner in Australia or even if you're flying over, if you're a beginner to, if you're not quite ready for Yara, go to Lake Mountain yeah. and that can, I guess, put you on the right track and prepare you for the following year's Yarra? 100%. 100%. Or other big events that we yeah. have? And you can come hang out at Yarra the week before, see how the top of the, the game's doing it, yep. and then take what you saw and try it out at a easier hill. Right. I guess that's the idea, yeah. That's the idea. And um, yeah. and unfortunately, there's a date clash, but the same yeah. weekend mm. as the Lake Mountain free ride is the Cross Cup yeah. in Canberra. It's the Canberra Day long weekend, March 11 to 13. So, as I said, I have not been before. My mum's been, dude. I went last year, first time. Tell us what events are on across the weekend. So, the first day is the ditch, which is where we started this at. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Teeth of Doom. And is this the Ainsley Ditch? Ainsley Ditch, yeah. So, it is actually not a very nice ditch. It is gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice ditch to skate, but it's, it will hurt you if you mess up. I've it's messed gnarly. up. I think there's, yeah, there's a video of you. Yeah, I'm an arse over ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Try yeah. to find it. Yeah, 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 yeah I'll send you. Yeah. Why would you say it's gnarly? So like a normal ditch that you're probably thinking of is just like a ditch that goes like that and you just go up one side and back down the other. This has got like gradient to it and then it's got drops about a foot drop uh, at every seven meters. There's a foot drop into the next part of the ditch and it goes on and on. So you have to ollie it? No. So you kind of like go up the sides and where the sides join, it's a drop that big. You know what I mean? The drop oh. gets bigger. So the higher you go, the, the smaller the yeah. drop, but you can have, you can just be, you're not going to ollie, but you're just going to drop off. It could be a place. Yeah, no, you like can't, that. you can't do that because it's got <laughs> teeth there. Right. So you'd have to ollie these teeth that are like a meter away. Like you, it's impossible. And, but the way they set up. And it's just smiling. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. They crazy. set it up with cones <laughs> on the high parts. And the whole idea is you get timed and you just slalom your way around these teeth of doom. And it is, it's more gnarly than it is. Like going slow is fine. Yeah. But that's the first day. Uh, the second day was the head to head at Strumlo. Yes. So uh, head to head, tight slalom racing. Yeah. Each rider has a timer. There's a, a, it's a normal a, slalom. Yes, yeah, normal slalom. Yeah. And then the week, the, the that's the Saturday, the Sunday, and they usually have another because it's a long weekend in Canberra. Yeah. yeah. They have um, another yeah. ditch event on the Monday. I don't know the name of that ditch. Do you know it? Um, no, I didn't go. I had a wedding to go to i didn't go to that but that ditch looks like your normal kind of ditch and did that you do that ditch no, I missed the last one. okay yeah I yeah that's yeah that's the the date clash kind of sucks like it's annoying because they're kind of far apart so it's pick one or the other but like kind of what jeb said if you want a bit of the both worlds if you can do it, go to Teeth of Doom the Ditch and then make your way down to Lake Mountain. You'll have the best of both worlds. Mm. It would be it would be great um, to get a proper calendar going and having more events in Australia across yeah, the year definitely. is what we're striving for. Again, shout out to Julian for all the work he puts on for these events and a shout out to Cross, all the yeah. crew 
the Canberra crew down there that put on these events. And um, Canberra also does a really big raffle on the Sunday night, I believe. Yeah, it's awesome. Which they um, they raise money and they you get all you know your skate gear and you get swagged out. So it's it's yeah. really um, it's a cool. I'm, event. This year I'm gonna try my best to get to Yarra. Mm-hmm. Might just be for the Saturday and Sunday. And Julian's actually opening up. Um, different tickets So you day don't just passes. have Yeah day passes You don't just buy the ticket For the w- the weekend's rego If you can't make it on the Friday You buy You could just go for the Sunday If you'd like Yeah exactly um, So I'm going to try and get to Yarra For the Saturday and Sunday I can't make it to Lake Mountain Wish I could Would love to be there And skate with everyone And have a great time And just see what Julian Is is, is building for um, the skateboarders In our country And anybody who's travelling But I've locked in with Duddy to go to my first Canberra Slalom mm-hmm. weekend. Do so it. I've got Milo jumping in the car with me. Jeb, <laughs> jump back up. Tell the people where you live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live in Canberra. And so we're crashing that's, the, that's the one thing that I can skate and have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so, so we're crashing at Jeb's. Yeah. We're crashing Jeb. Quick shout out to Jeb. He hadn't shout done, Jeb. He hadn't done sh- Slalom before in his life. Mm. I get to the Ainsley Ditch. Man's comes fifth. Fifth out of like the strongest field. The next day at the slalom race race, mm. I think he got a bit unlucky with the brackets and how it all worked out, but he was on for like another fifth or sixth place again. No, no, oh. I didn't get eliminated. You didn't get eliminated? Yeah, it was a Flags. weird... I, got, I, I won every heat that I was Yeah, in. that's and what I mean. The, the Yeah, the brackets like wigged out. And oh, I heard, I've heard a lot of... Um, Conversations about how the brackets really messed up. That yeah, time. they messed yeah. up. But so like he was on for another. F- he never done it before. And he's yeah. just riding other people's random gear. So <laughs> anyone can. It. Yeah, anyone can <laughs> do slalom, <laughs> and it is hard but sick. So you're, are you going to be away? I will be away for Yarra, unfortunately. What about the Canberra weekend? I get back that weekend. So so Milo's coming down with me. I know if you'd like to come. Got a spot. Also, there's other sick hills in Canberra. Two there's hills Canberra. to skate. Anyone that needs a place to crash. Uh, Anyone can stay with Jed. Yeah. Camping, swags. <laughs> All the yeah. subscribers on the podcast right now, you can crash at Jed's. <laughs> How far One, is... Two, three. Just put the address <laughs> in the, yeah. in the link. <laughs> How far is uh, Canberra from Bathurst? So it's like same. Three, three yeah. and a half? Same to here almost, yeah. Oh, okay. Three, yeah. three and a half. So if you're so not doing anything... from here, it's yeah. like three hours? Calm down. Yeah, if uh, Midi or Daddy's driving. If I'm driving, maybe four. From, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. From Sydney, from where you are, it's probably, yeah, three hours or so. A bit over. That's not yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of averages out for everyone. Public transport, yeah. 10? That's the capital. <laughs> Go see all the, the, you know, Parliament House and everything. Cool. <laughs> you got to hit, is it Brown Mountain? Brown, Black, Black Mountain. Mountain. Black Mountain. Black Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a major one. Yeah, major. I haven't hit that in a while, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we went there with Jordo and he hit yeah. the guardrail yeah. and split his leg open? took a chunk out of his leg. Yeah. Dude, all this talk <laughs> about events is getting me cracking to go and skate. Yeah. But we've got Yarra, Lake Mountain, Canberra. Duddy's holding the GS. Jeb's talking about holding pathway races and other stuff in yeah. Canberra. Just going to say it out loud. There's talk of Bathurst coming back. Bins. Anyone in the country who's trying to hold any sort of event, let me know when I can talk about it. I can spread the word. But it doesn't need to be something huge. No. You can get a, you can get some chalk on a straight road and make a track with turns. You can go to a pathway. You can do flat ground slalom. Challenge yourself. Get people together. It's all about, like Anna said, it's so hard to get people together all the time. The way to make it easier is to set a date spread the word and people will show it's like build it and they will come and someone needs to win the outlaw key Mm. so (laughs) shout out to everyone who watches the podcast just thank you for jumping on midi my dog thank you anna first and hopefully not the last time (laughs) on the body shout out to Jaden. thank you bro gts tattoo number eight or nine i'm lost losing track (laughs) and again thanks to everyone who's watching we should go and ride our skateboards i think so because we just spoke about skating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Let's go to the car park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs>